I've just finished making a seesaw trap out of some old plywood I had lying around. Uh, it's an old trap, um, and I'm going to use it for catching squirrels in the garden. In essence, it's a box that's larger at one end than the other, and one end is blocked off with mesh. Okay, the other end is the entrance, and it has a plank of wood going the, almost the full length of it that acts as a seesaw. I'll show you how it works in a minute, but the wire you can see me moving there, that's going to be the lock, it's going to stop the seesaw coming back down once it's tilted. And the seesaw itself pivots on a piece of galvanised metal running underneath the seesaw. The clip you can see at the side of the seesaw there simply prevents that pivot pulling out unnecessarily. The trap works um, by light being seen through the tunnel, so the squirrel will look down the tunnel and as it walks into the tunnel the seesaw pivots and is held in place with the wire prongs that you can see preventing the seesaw opening up again. Okay, to remove an animal from the trap you'd simply put a sack over the end of the, the trap, pull out the pin and tip the animal into a sack. With the help of one of my old Jills, you should hopefully now see how the trap works. Okay, the squirrel, in effect, would see the, the, the hole, see the light through it, go into the trap, and the wire prongs prevent the trap from reopening again. So all that's left for me to do now is to treat the outside of it or I'll stick a bit of roofing felt all the way around it to make it watertight. Hope you enjoyed the short vid.